All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites out here to teach the word to the sincere brothers of the hopeful elect scattered across the four corners of this earth. All right, we are here to bring back the 12 tribes of Jacob, which will be the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. While we are here to condemn the wicked, condemn the wicked of our people, to condemn this wicked society that we call America, because this place is going to, go, going to burn and go up in flames, right? This place is not for our rest, okay? We are to come out of America, right? I got a precept, brother got a precept, just bring them on out. I'm going to go to the book of Micah, right? The classic of the book of Micah. Fuck, it went too far. It's the book of Micah, chapter 2, and verse 10, and it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with their sword destruction. And that sword destruction is the nuclear missile. That's the nuclear bomb going off, blowing your skin off your body. When you're nothing but bone and ash, when your eyeballs melt in your sockets, like the scripture said is going to happen, man. Second, Second Peter 3 and 10, the most High God, he's going to come like a thief of the night, and the heavens going to pass away as a scroll, okay? That's the ending in the judgment of America. It's not about to be Make America Great Again. You're not going to have any more WrestleManias. No more Marvel movies. No more DC comic book movies. No more video games. Ain't going to be no PS7. Right? There ain't going to be none of that, man. The most like God, he's working swiftly to bring judgment on this place. World War III is coming. Okay? Which is prophesied in the Holy Bible. All right? Brother got precept. Bring it up. Brother just brought up. He said, Michael 2 and 10, you know, be conformed and join into this world. All right? All right? Because this place will destroy you. It's more than just being destroyed by the nuclear. That's the final ultimate form of being destroyed. But it's by when you conform to this place, this place is dead. Alright? Bring out Job 10 21. Bring that out. This place is dead. Alright? That's what it means by <coughs> That's what it means by they will surely destroy you. Because this place warps your mind. Alright? This place is all opposite in opposition above the Haubashiyan Shai and which is life. All right, uh, this place will destroy you with a sword of destruction because there's no life here. It's nothing but wickedness here. All right, bring that out. Job chapter ten and verse twenty-one. And read twenty-one and twenty-two. The book of Job chapter ten verse twenty-one. Before I go whence, I shall not return, even to the land of the darkness and the shadow of death. Into the land of darkness and the shadow of death. That's what this place is. That's why I will destroy you with a sword of destruction. That's right. There's no light here. It's a land of darkness and the shadow of death, all right? Why? Because there's no life here. The law of statutes commands to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, it doesn't prevail here. Read right. out. 22, a land of darkness, as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death, without any order, and where the light is, is as darkness. Read out Isaiah 5 and 2. Without any order, and where the light is as darkness. That's how foul and wicked this place is. That's why according, according to Micah 2 and 10, what the brother just brought out earlier, it's a land, it will surely destroy you. It will surely destroy you because everybody's under the darkness and the, the dark light of the, uh, uh, of these Edomites. And these heathens, primarily the Edomite, because he is the devil, the Bible speaks of. He is the deceiver. He All he does is bring death upon the earth. That's right. All right? The whole earth is in mourning, according to Romans the 8th chapter. All right, bring that out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe means destruction. That's right. right? Death right. and destruction unto you right. that call evil good. And good <laughs> evil. And good evil, putting everything upside down, everything um, contrary, go ahead. That put darkness for light. Darkness for light. And light for darkness. Light for darkness. This place is, this, this is the valley of upside down, all right? This whole place is upside down. Go ahead. That put bitter for sweet. Put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. And sweet for bitter. Everything's upside down. That's right. why this place will truly destroy you. You conform here, you will be destroyed. All right? This is the book of jo James, chapter 4, verse 4. He adulterers and adulterers sins. Now, this is not talking about the carnal level in this context. It's talking about the spiritual context. God! All right? This is talking about when it causes you adulterers and adulterers sins, you, you went against your how about you shy became the harlot. All right, you went into these ideologies and you went in and conformed to the ways of the society in this world. Right. That's what he means by you, adulterers and adulterers. Sins. You went and turned around against mm -hmm. your how about side. Bring that out. What you say? You submitted to the beast. You submitted to the beast. All right, you submitted to the carnality. You could you submitted to the flesh mm -hmm. in its entirety. That's what he means by you, adulterers and adulterers. Sins. Because you didn't go into spiritual aspects. You left the spiritual aspect of being the husband to your how about you, All right, it says you, adulterers and adulterers. Sins. Know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Enmity means the opposite. That's right. right? It means you're an op. Right? Op 
opposition. That's right. It means you're the enemy. You're the villain. <laughs> All right. That the, the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh Bashanel Shai. Whosoever therefore will be friend of the world is the enemy with Yahweh Bashanel Shai. That's what you people do. You conform to this place and you try to find your calling in this place and carnality and wickedness. And you just say, all right, I'm going to just accept this what it, what it is. And I'm going to just be part of this. I'm going to make my way in this in this society. And I'm going to just try to just go on. Without first and go, first and foremost going to the most high, Yahweh Bashan Shai, and seeing what he requires of you. You decide what you want to do for your own self, to your own destruction. All right? Because the most high requires us to uh, 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 bring out, uh, you got a precept? Yeah, I'm going to All right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Like, God, I'm going to write this out. The back of what the brother's going into about being entangled with this world. It's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 4. No man that warreth, meaning going to war, dealing with the aspects of survival, said, No man warreth entangled himself with the affairs of this life. You don't become consumed with everything that Esau produces in Babylon. You don't overindulge in the things that Esau indulges in. Okay, it's cool to have a good time. The scriptures say deny that, deny not thyself a good day, but don't overdo it. Okay, right. don't entangle it to I gotta, I gotta wake up and do it because now it's become a routine to the point you start forsaking the Most High God and giving the Most High God this time. That's when you go into spiritual fornication, which is idolatry. Right. Yeah. Book of Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty-one. Envy, envy thou not the oppression and choose none of his ways. Uh, fire precept, break that down. Basically, don't follow the Esau, man. man. It's all wicked. From the history to the then on and then on, man. The future is all wicked. If the Santa Claus, the Halloween, it's something wicked behind it. Everything they did for Thanksgiving is all wicked. It's evil. They chose it for a reason. Why? Because they, they Satan, they deceive us. We're trying to let them deceive and wake up, man. Romans 12 2, transform your mind, man. That's right. It's too polluted. That's right. It, it, it's like us. It's like the bomb, especially for our people. When it comes to evil, we do the most evil. Don't be a, uh, a whore mugger. You be the best whore mugger. Uh, a whore mugger means pimp. That's right. Like, all right. It's not a man that sleeps around with multiple women. All right. Let's get that real straight. All right. Break it down. We're, 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 we're kings, all right? That's right. All right. And you got to keep, keep it in a king mentality. A king has multiple women, all right? You just gotta be in the right order and the right mindset. That's where you win. That's where you do fail at. You don't have the right mindset to deal with women. That's why you get destroyed. Right. But it's not dealing with multiple women. All right? A whore monger is a compound word. Two words. Whore, we all know what a whore is. Monger means you sell and make merchandise of. Like like a merchant. Yeah. That's what it is. Whore monger. Mm -hmm. Selling and making merchandise of women. Which is the modern day uh, uh, term for that is a pen. That's right. Yeah. Symbology. That's what it is. Okay? Let me bring this scripture out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, and verse 23. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And all you Israelites are gone, man. That's why you believe that, that whoremongering is something totally different than what it exactly says. Y'all take it and flip it in Christianity. Christianity is going to get you destroyed, man. Right. That's why you are revolted and gone. Right. And Esau, right, you are your father the devil. That's, a, that's, that's deception you teach you. When you say that whoremonger is that, okay? You got a precept? Oh yeah, kind of, kind of. First Corinthians chapter three, verse nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. That's For right. Written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. God. Verse twenty. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are in vain. God, that breaks it down. So basically, it's it's. You don't want to know much about this world. Like I said again, like the, uh, the from the movies, they all came from the Bible, from Egypt to these birthdays. Like I said, it's like these, uh, like I said, the holidays. It's, 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 it's wisdom, it's foolishness, man. Because you, as you have, you believe that you can do this. You could be a, uh, you could be a, you could be a man, could be a woman, a woman could be a man. It's foolishness, man. It's confusion. It's very confusion. Yeah. You gotta say he, they, them. And if you don't say it right, they're taking disrespect. How does that make sense? <laughs> How does that make sense? That actually uh, believe in their brain that they are exactly what they is. And see, and that's what Esau does. Exactly. Going back to Isaiah 5 and 20. What Esau does is he brings forth all the calamity. He brings off all the deceit. He brings forth all the confusion. All right? And then he paints his image like he's the hero. Exactly. That's why he's the devil. All right? Because <laughs> what he brings forth is completely up. Of right. your whole bunch of y'all shot. 
Huh? He opposes anything righteousness of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's, That's right. That's why he mocks God. That's Put that right. on the back of the dollar bill. In, in God we trust. Sure. You don't trust in God. Your God, oh, you know what? Actually, you do. You trust in your God, Satan, man. That's right. And that's who runs this world. That's right. Because there's nothing but adversity and deception in this place. Right. All right, let me bring this out. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, and verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. There ain't nothing but deception out here. Like the brother was going into. Everyone's just lying. Yeah. Okay, lying on the word. Putting their own feelings Twist. to it. Yeah. Twisting it to their own way. Bending it to their own benefit. Okay, instead of sticking with the scriptures, the most High God written it and hey look, leave it alone. Don't take his book and make your own version of it, man. Because who the hell are you? Let's get that scripture. Too. Right, do you already too? That's a sin, man. Let's get the scripture in the book of Romans chapter 9. This is the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 20. And it reads, Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the most high? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it? Why has thou made me death? Exactly. Who the hell are you, man? Who the hell are you to reply against way the Most High God set things up? Okay, we didn't go into this book. We didn't make these words up. The Most High God had them already written. Now, the Most High God didn't give everybody that understanding. According right. to the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 11, 2 right. Thessalonians 2, 11, Amos 3 and 7. And the Most High God, he ain't want everybody to know. 1 John 2 and 20. Okay? A lot of you brothers, hey, the Most High created just to be an example. Even if you feel you're so mighty, you're so on fire, you feel like you've got the correct breakdowns. Hey, look, you would know the correct breakdowns if it links up in the scriptures to the point where you ain't got to go, oh, I, I'm, I'm going to go to this book, I'm going to go to that book. No, man, if you can prove all things with the KJV, okay? Right. Now, that's not a knock because you have other books and records that helps validate the KJV, but you got brothers that be going into pseudopigrapher books, try to say it validates the KJV, man, when it doesn't. Okay, pseudo picking for books. It's nothing but it's because it mentions biblical characters doesn't mean that it's fact. Okay, that's how you finesse somebody. You will a man by speaking on something that they are familiar with. Oh, it's, it mentions about Mary. I gotta read about that. Mary's in the Bible. You can take you can take a character and make anybody. Somebody named in the Bible Phineas. I can take a book and call it the Book of Phineas. This man is out here, man. And what the Most I say about that? The Ecclesiastes. So I, got, I know brothers got precepts, man. But oh, no, no. You know, the spirit gets to go in the go with the spirit. This is the book Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 12. And it reads, And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end, and must study is the awareness of the flesh. Okay? Be admonished of making many books. Because then what happens when you make these many books? Now you're entangled and consumed in these books. You forget the scriptures, which is the Holy Bible, the so called um, the KJV version, man. We don't call it the KJV version. It's the Most High God's Word. Okay? And you go outside the Most High God's Word to these different books. When the scriptures say, be admonished. And this is Solomon, the wisest man on the earth. They came to him for his wisdom. And that is wisdom from Solomon, who was also Yahweh Shai. But that's a conversation for another day. All right, brother, you got to preach something. Yeah, I'll be able to preach something. All right. And going off of what... Uh, you see, this is what the so-called white man does, right? He claims that he's God, that's right. right? That's why he wants everybody subjected and bowed down to him. That's why everybody mm -hmm. is in subjected and bowed down to him, for the most part. Because except for the God. hopeful elect, all right? They're not going to be deceived by these damn That's devils, right. right. All right? They're going to cleave onto Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, not this damn, this red dragon, all right? right. This, this fucking beast, this red beast. This right? abomination. This is an abomination, all right? This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, and verse 4. <laughs> I'm going to start off at 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come by falling away first. Because the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right? The man of sin, the, the son of perdition, is the so-called white man. That's right. right? It's the Edomite. Right? Who opposes and exalted himself above all. He opposes. We've been constantly bringing our precepts showing that he opposes the most high and he exalts himself like he is the most high all right, all right? and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai or that is worshiped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai showing himself that he is God see he claims that he's God you bow right. down and submit to me you do what I say all right and everything that he says is a complete opposition against the most high Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai that's why this place is going to be destroyed right and anybody that cleaves on to it 
throw hand joint in hand, the women should not be able to punish. Right. Hey, this place is about to get destroyed, man. You, wanna, you, you don't want to be caught lacking in that day, man. That's right. You want the Most High God to redeem you in that day. Save right. you out of, the, out of your tribulation like he said he's going to do. Take back to Brother Sad. Let me back. Look at the uh, Revelation, chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak. Because that as many as would not worship, the image of the beast should be still. That's right. That's what the brother was saying like this. He start rule shit, man. If you don't buy dimes, you don't accept the American ways, get the hell out, man. They put you in jail. They will kill you. They will leave you homeless. It's that simple. God, I got a precept to go exactly what you're going into, brother. Okay, this is the book of First Maccabees, chapter one, and verse. Where am I? Where am I? I'm, I'm, I'm just going right to verse 49. Verse 49. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances because that's what Esau wants you to do. He don't want you so-called black Hispanics and native Indians to um, keep the law. That's he wants right. you to forget them, right? Verse 50, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, or your king today could be your, your, your president, right? right. Or, or, or your powerful wherever you are, wherever you at, okay? It says, whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. So yeah, if you don't get down with Rome, you're going to be put to death. If you don't get down with Esau and his beast system, yep. you're going to be put to death. Exactly. We're talking about a mock. Like, like that do not Israelites, man. God, I got a precept. John chapter 15. It is the book of John chapter 15 and verse 16. It reads, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father Yahweh in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. You hate Yahweh shot. Right. When you tell us to stop keeping the commandments, we tell us to don't talk and teach your people and, and prophesy the downfall of this wicked society, okay, you, you're hating Yahweh shot and Yahweh. Because Yahweh shot came to the name of Yahweh, because Yahweh shot came to the name of Yahweh, right? Verse 19, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Right. That goes back to what the brother was just going into. They slander you and they mock you when you're not following the custom of this pagan, wicked, abominable devil called Esau. Right. Right. Verse 20, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. And we're trying to find those sincere brothers who want to keep the saying of the, of the Most High God. But other than that, we have found a lot of wicked, a lot of wicked of our people come up against us. A lot of our own scoff amongst us, right? Scoff at us. We want to bring up brothers past. You want to do a, a good search. Let's get that in the book of Psalms. You want to do a diligent search on your brothers. Oh, I got to get some dirt on him. Oh, I, I got I got. I can't believe he's so mighty. It got to be something with this brother. Yeah, and that's the same thing with Esau. Esau does that in his politics. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's that's what he does. About that. And that's what um what it means to say he speak through his um he may have the, the power to make the beast speak of the image speak. Yeah. He speak through his system by putting bull um customs and laws out in his land that you right. have to follow and obey. All right, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter sixty four. Right, the book of Psalms, chapter 64, and verse, um, and verse, uh, four. And it, like, I'm gonna go to verse three. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That's what they do. They shoot bitter words at our people. A bitter word is saying that he's wicked. I don't think he's a man of the Lord. I don't think he's gonna make it. Did you hear what that brother did? I kicked him out of my congregation. That's bitter words, okay? That they may shoot in secret at the perfect Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They don't care what they say. That's what they go around saying, brothers who don't who don't stay here don't last long. Okay, that's evil to say about a brother, man. Because what y'all wish I said, by your fruit, you should know them, man. If you're producing good fruit, because the most high likeness to trees in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, in the book of Mark, the eighth chapter, that means that we're going to bring forth some good fruit. Okay, you're going to have an apple tree, going to bring forth some apples, some right. oranges, some pineapples, some coconuts, right? You're going to bring forth good things that could be used, right? You're not going to bring forth rotten fruit. Okay? Verse 5. 
They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? Right, they plot and scheme. They want to set these traps on you. They want to get you caught up. They want to get you in Esau's system. They want you to get jammed up. They look forward to it. That's why they're quick to make videos and post about it. That's why they're quick to run to others about it. Okay? Verse, um, verse 6. This is this we want right here, Israel. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Right. They do a diligent search. They want to find, like I said, any flaw, any old flaw. They want to, just so they can have it on you. They look forward to it. And most likely going to destroy you for that, man. Most likely God is not going to let you go unpunished for that. And that's called being a damn tail bearer and a busybody, man. And Which, a hypocrite. And a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite because you won't forgive you. Exactly. You are the most high for to forgive you and your faults and your flaws. All right, long as the brother is striving to keep continuing with your house, I your shot, you forgive your brother. That's right. All right, you forgive your brother, because you hypocrites are going to perish, man. You want the most I forgive you and all your filth and all your dirt and all your disgusting God. shit. And, but you don't want to forgive your brother. You want to hold shit over him. All right? You're going to be destroyed for doing that. That's called hypocrisy. God, I got to, uh, uh, yeah, pretty simple now. All right, but this is the book of yeah, the, this is the book of the three holy children, right? Chapter one, verse nine. It reads, "If thou didst deliver us in the hands of lawless enemies, all right, this place is lawless, all right. There's no laws of of Yahweh Shinar Shai here, all right. And even right. when brothers do bring out laws, a lot of brothers are just hypocrites. So this, therefore, again, it's lawless. It's lawless here, all right. There's no order here, no. all right. And lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of Yahweh Shimei Shai and to an unjust king, this, uh, this king, which is the ruler of, 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 of the people, all right, president, uh, mayor, you know, people that are ruling over you, unjust kings, because they're unrighteous, they're unholy, all right? They don't <laughs> keep the laws of Yahweh Shimei Shai. And to, and to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. And who's the most wicked of all the world? So called white man. That's, right. That's why everybody falls underneath him. Right? They fall underneath his vibrancy, his energy, which is wickedness and deception, lies. Go ahead. I had a priest that led me back to what the brother is going into about ye hypocrites, right? This is the book of Job, chapter 15 and verse 34. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Right? So the most high is going to destroy you hypocrites, man. He said the congregation of the hypocrite is going to be desolate, meaning it's going to be laid waste, it's going to be obliterated, and it's going to be destroyed, okay? And also, you also being a hypocrite because you know you have a past, you have a history of doing something crazy or questionable, but you want forgiveness of it, but you don't want to forgive your brother. That's what makes you wicked. That's what makes you a hypocrite. That's right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 1, verse 29. It reads, be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, God, right. and take good heed without speaking. So you need to be very careful what you do, all right? You over there watching your brother like a fucking hawk, like a madman, <laughs> just watching every little thing he do. Up, oh, I got that dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. Got huh? that dirt. All right. You want to hear the latest news about this brother? Tell bear. All right, but you want to keep your shit in the dark. Clean, yeah. <laughs> but you want to, and, and not only that, you want to be forgiven by your how much you shot. But you want to sit up there and spread lies. Slanders and evils amongst your brother instead of forgiving him. If he's striving to keep the commandments, if he's striving to eat the, oh, Father, heaven forgive me, he, he, he continues in the word, you forgive your brother, man. You all forgive right. him. You love him. All right? Because that's what we want. That's right. Let me get to the house I say. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 28. And it reads, Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. But within ye are all so ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Right. And he's getting on you wicked Pharisees, man. And you wicked Pharisees are still walking amongst us today. And what do y'all wish I say? He said, You are full of hypocrisy, man. You're full of hypocrisy because you do your stuff in the in the dark. And since you uh 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 what, what's what's that? Um since since you magnify yourself, since you have increased amongst others, that ain't no one gonna discover your your junk, man. But the most high God said there's not nothing secret that won't be revealed. Yeah, right. That's right. That's right, I got a precept on that too. Mm -hmm. Bring it up a lot. I got a precept on that. All right. <coughs> this is the book of Sirach, chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord 
the Hal Bashidel Shai are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Good. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So what you do <laughs> in the dark, the most I see, and you will be exposed, all right? You will be exposed. You will be revealed. That's why a lot of brothers that be getting old brothers, most I be spiting their ass, all right? He be revealing them, all right? I ain't gonna name no brothers, but you, you, you brothers know who you are. You could be hypocrites, man. You you want to get on another brother and say say this one thing, one thing, but behind closed doors you doing another. All right. It says he knew all things ever. He knew all things ever ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Verse twenty one is the key point. All right. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and what he suspected did not. He should be taken. The most I go destroy your bitch ass, man. That's right. That's you know, right. Gonna destroy you because you, you, you brothers come in a lot of hypocrisy, man. You want to appear like you're holier than now. Right. You filthy, man. Right. The most righteous of us is filthy, That's man. That's right. right. Most Even the angels are charged with folly. The most righteous of us is filthy in this polluted fucking meat pile. And this meat you. And you want to sit up there and be hypocrites. Forgive your brother, man, or you ain't gonna be forgiven. That's right. That's a guarantee. That's why your hotbox, you know, Shai said, hey, he, the, the Harleys and the, and basically the tax collector. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, the, the, uh, ah, I can't yeah, think of I the word. I forgot what he calls them. Was it, was it the, um, the Harleys or the, uh, the Harleys? It's, it, it's the tax collector, but it says something different. Yeah. They're gonna make it in the kingdom before you. Because those are filthy creatures, man. He said they're, they're, they're more like, you know why? Because at least they're sincere in their shit. Other than you being a hypocrite. God, we got another precept with Yahweh, so I say. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Right, you don't know if you've got the kingdom of heaven within um, of seat, man. You don't know if you're going to be in there. But you want to shut the doors on your brother? Oh, no, no, that, that brother is wicked. No, no, don't let him come in. That, right. that brother uses profanity. Don't let that brother come in. That, that brother, he likes to, to deal with other nations. Don't let that brother come in. Damn hypocrites, man. The most is not dealing with that. He said, here is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. Revelation 14 and 12, keep the commandments in the faith. That is how you obtain salvation, man. Right. It's not worrying about flashlight. What that brother doing over there? No, the Most High is not dealing with that, man. He didn't set you up to be 007, man. Neither one of you brothers are, are James Bond. Alright? <laughs> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 21 and verse 31. Whether of them twain did the will of his father. Alright? They say to him the first. Yahweh shall I say to them, verily I say to you, that the publican yeah, yeah, that was the word. and the harlots go into the kingdom of Yahweh before you. Alright? And that's right. Because y'all are hypocrites and y'all don't repent. Y'all think you do no wrong. All right? A quick to be and put a steel sword and a knife and a dagger on your brother's neck. Twist it. Damn, y'all wicked, man. And then when he's down on the ground, stumping with steel toe boots, man. Damn. <laughs> nah, and steel toe boots with cleats. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, that's utter destruction right brothers there. Wicked, and humiliation man. right there, man. Brothers, wicked. You hate your brothers, man. Damn. Always would have dirt on them and figure out, oh, that, 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 that brother wicked. Tell nigga, you wicked. <laughs> brother Brady, this is how is y'all speaking again, man? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Exactly. How can you escape, man? Because you're doing all of this wickedness, all of this evil, breaking the, what Yahweh I said, you're breaking the commandment of loving your brother. How are you going to escape this hellfire that's coming, man? How are you going to maneuver around nuclear missiles? He brothers think that, hey, if I put the fringes on today, I, and if I don't say nothing to that brother today, I'm going to get beamed up. <laughs> that's mad. Yeah, that's madness, man. Madness. Now you make now, now you you making a mockery, man. You trying to make a mockery of the Most High God. I'm gonna let the brother fall out and not keep the commandments by keeping the feast days. He wanna keep the feast days, but oh, I got something to get some. So, so uh, brother, you stay out there. You oh. can't keep the feast days. That's madness. So you, you you being sin. That's madness. Which, that's basically what you sin upon your neighbor. Yep, what you sin upon your neighbor. Which is what? Leviticus 19 chapter. You just rebuke your neighbor. All right correct him yep. and then you go out and you continue on 
All right, we're all we got anyway. Why are you so quick to just uh, kick a brother, another brother out? And if he's striving and he's sorrowful and he's trying to keep going on, you forgive him, man. All right. And you brothers, you, another thing about you brothers too, man, you you so quick, so quick and so fast to forget what a brother's done for you too. All right? I've done plenty of things for brothers. I'm not trying to show for myself, but I'm saying, and it's sincerely, God, all wrong. right? I've done plenty for brothers. And it's just like, you just threw it out in the wind, like like it's just forgotten. But yeah, I'm still in the truth of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. I'm still calling on the name of Yahweh. I'm still calling on the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? Brothers are still in the scriptures, teaching the uh, teaching the uh, the, uh, the law and, 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 and the word, which is Yahweh Shai, all right? Brothers are still is strong in the faith. That's right, even and you stronger. Just, and even stronger. And you just forget about the things that the brothers have done for you. You know, getting through the shirt off their back to help you out. And you just, just throw them off in the wayside. Because you want to get in your emotions and feelings. That's right. And be a hypocrite. Y'all niggas going to pay, man. That's right. You wish it, man. That's robbery, too. It's a lot here for you simpletons out there. That's not being bitter or holding a grudge, man. That's Matthew 18, 15. Until, that, until these people make it right with the people who are who they have offended and wrong, hey, look, it's gonna always be like that, man. Most, yeah, how would I say you are a heathen and a publican? Do we not get on Esau every day and damn day because he hasn't made right when he wrong with us? Correct your wrongs. That's all right. you gotta do. That's Correct why, how would I say, if you humble yourself as what? As a babe, man. Yeah. All that pride brothers got in. That's what a lot of y'all destroy. Ego, all that, all that sitting on, on the throne like Shao Kahn, man. An uh, evil emperor. A lot of you brothers, y'all Shao Kahn, man. Y'all not King Solomon. Y'all not King David. Y'all not King Josiah. Y'all are y'all are Shao Kahn, man. From Mortal Kombat. An evil emperor sitting on the throne, watching people destroy themselves, man. And take joy in it. Y'all King Jeroboam. Uh, that's what you are. <laughs> King Jeroboam, man. That's what y'all are. Y'all, y'all in the ball. Yeah. Oh. Alright, that's what y'all are. Bring it up. Look at Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Verse 19. Better it, like it, better it is to be a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Come on, come break that down. Basically, you gotta be, you gotta be humble, man. That pride, let that ego go, man. Just let it go. Just forgive your brothers. Let it go. Come back. We'll be brothers, man. Hebrews 13, one. Show brotherly love, man. It's okay, you messed up, man. It's all about to get into the kingdom at the end of the day. Hey, you gotta be humble too, man. You gotta be humble. It's okay to admit you was wrong. Be the bigger man. That's all it's about. Alright, I got a preset. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse 24. And it reads, By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He refused to be called what you would say an African American today. He wanted to be called by Israel. He wanted to be called Yasha Allah, right? Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, right? He humbled himself. He wanted to suffer affliction with his people. He wanted to take that pain because he could escape. He could have been sitting on a throne like Shao Kahn, like a lot of you brothers, and watch your brothers be destroyed. But what did he do? He chose to suffer the same afflictions, man. Kahn. Oh, in verse 26 esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward right Moses he knew what was going to come man most I say he revealed many things to Moses on Mount Sinai for 30 days and 30 nights right he was up in the mountain with Yahweh having a good old conversation and what did he do he, he manifested everything he told him the ending and the beginning and the middle Told him was gonna come in the end. Was that his second address? Yep. When he said, when he said, I, Moses, they, I prophesied many things to Moses. But I'm gonna read this again. It says, esteeming the reproach of a Mashiach, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Right. He chose to humble himself then and get a quick buck. He chose to humble himself to be a celebrity in, in, in captivity. Okay. Ultimately, it just comes down to just getting right with the most high. That's man. all. A lot of, uh, you gotta get your spirit right. right. Like you get your spirit right, he uh, bring out Rome, Romans 7 14. I gotta preach that too. Alright, you gotta get your spirit right. If you get your spirit right by going back to the word and the law, statutes, and commandments of the book of Moses, the first five books, right? That's how you get your spirit right. 
and you, and you, and you search these scriptures daily, and you get to the gospel, the word, which is Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. All right? Get your spirit right, and you're going to be all right. Remember, that's why it's so important to remember these commandments. All right? Because that's how you love your neighbor. All right? That's how you love your brother. You keep these commandments. Be spiritual, not carnal, spiritual. Nah, you get that. You don't Psalm 14. Book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. We know that the law is spiritual, right? But I am carnal, so under sin. And we are carnal, and we are under sin, right? right? That's why it's so important for us to what? Take heed to the commandments. Right? Strive, right? To Strive to be perfect. perfect. Strive right? Right? to keep the commandments to the best stay, of your ability. Stay spiritual. Right? Right? Stay in the law. Right? The first five books, the law of Moses. Ain't no law of Paul. Ain't no law of Paul, ain't no law of Isaiah, ain't no law of Jeremiah, ain't no law of Ezekiel. Now, dude, those brothers, they read the law, but they never say, hey, look, my scroll is part of the law as well. No, that's added to the word. You are accusing my, my forefathers and the prophets of Deuteronomy 4 and 2, added to the word. But let me bring this up. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 4, and verse 7. It reads, but the end of all things is at the hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right, so be sober, man. Be sober-minded. Don't be carnal. Okay, don't be going indulging into the all bugged out things, man. Don't be too polluted and entangled with the affairs of this life. Affairs with, with a Babylon, whatever it produces. When you're quick to watch these um these folly shows, you go quick to see the folly holidays and all that stuff, man. Just, hey, like the brother said, get right from Most High God, man. Seek His face while He is near. Because the famine of the Word is coming, man. It is coming. Amos eight and eleven. Okay. We said, which shall withdraw itself? Ain't gonna be no, hey brother, can you um, break down that scripture from me? Hey, ain't gonna be none of that in that day, man. You're gonna seek out the prophets from far, from sea to sea, from right. land to land. You're gonna be having your Bible, gonna be upside down, trying to, where is that book? Who is that book about the slave ship? What was that? What the brother was going into? But the Most High God, he's gonna take all that away. Because when you had it available to you, you despised it right. and mocked it. You took it for granted. What is Christian? You misused the prophets, man. Right. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. Going off what the brother was just bringing out. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shibia was shot, that I will send a famine in the land. God. Not, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, although that's coming too. Yeah. That's going to follow right after. That's right. All right. But if hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shibia was shot, they shall wonder from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shion Shai, and shall not find it. Alright? That's exactly what's gonna come in, right? Because everybody's gonna be wanting answers in that day. Right? You had a chance to get the answers, but you forsaked it. Alright? You turned your back on it. You wanted to go back and follow land. Yep. Alright? That's what the you old wanted body. to do. Yep. Alright? So now the time's coming down, then you shit on yourself. You know, you, you all this this damnation and calamity coming upon you, you don't have right. no understanding of why it's happening. Then you're going to be looking for the answers. And you're going to be looking for the, where's those so-called, those crazy men on the highways, the byways, on those corners? Perfect game. All right? <laughs> well, where, where's those crazy men with the fridges? Uh, that was always yelling. With the karate suits and right? the power right. ranger outfits. and stuff. They're speaking harshly. All right? Where are they at? They got the answers. Where are they at? It's going to be too late. That's right. You're going to feel every bit of that calamity. You're going to feel every bit of that suffering. Crying and snot and looking all nasty and ugly and shit. All right, you're going to be destroyed. God. Let me bring this out. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 74, and verse 9. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet, neither is there is there among us any that knoweth how long. Exactly. You're going to look for the prophets in that day, like the brother was going into. You're going to be snot bubbling. You're going to be looking all destroyed. You want the word. You want to hear the breakdowns. You want to be taught now. Oh, I got it together. I want to be taught now, brothers. Right. I'm ready to hear the most high right. God. And it's already too late. All hell is broken loose. And the most high knows that's not sincere. That's why you're going to get caught out there, man. The most high is going to get you caught out there. And, may, and he might just root you out of the land of the living. Because you took his word for granted. You knew better, too. You knew better. Which is why it's going to be worse for you in that day, man. Because you knew better. That's right. That's right. Not only did you know better, see, a lot of y'all going to be wishing for death in that day. That's right. You ain't going to be able to fight. That's right. The Most High is going to put you through those tortures, right? Mm -hmm. you, you're, going to, you're going to be put through those tortures. All right? Uh, give me Revelation 9 and 6. This is the book. This is the book of uh, 
Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. To what end is it? It is it for you. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right? right. It's going to be a lot of blood, torture, suffering, calamity, wickedness. It's going to be a dog eat dog to the fullest extent. Um. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> and a wicked sense to the fullest extent. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. So you just ran from this one day, all right, just to meet you, head on to another day, all right? Or went into a house and leaned his head on the wall, thought she was going to uh, uh, try to catch your breath. You ain't going to catch your breath, man. Another There's no peace into the wicked, all right? Uh. You ain't going to catch your breath. And leave his hand on the wall and a serpent bill. So no matter where you go, mm -hmm. no matter where you try to escape, you're gonna be you met with dangers. Bring that out. Romans 90, I mean uh, Revelation 96. Uh, Book of Revelation chapter 9, verse 6. In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. That's it's going back to it. Alright? So you will be running, running, running. You just you just flee from a lion. This it doesn't necessarily mean a lion, it means a danger. All right, because a lion is a dangerous creature. A bear is a dangerous creature. A serpent is a dangerous creature. They can kill you. So wherever danger you just run away from, you're gonna be met just right into another danger. You're gonna be wishing for death and cannot find it. Go ahead, read, I'll, I'll read that again from the top. No day shall man seek death and shall not find it. That's the most high Yahweh about you side torturing your ass. You a lot of y'all gonna get tortured. You're gonna, you're gonna be seeking death. A quick release. A quick death. I pay with that. The most I'm gonna let you go. Some of y'all gonna get a lot of sufferings before you get that death. Yeah, God. Gotta make examples out of you. Right? It's like we purge out the rebels, like he did with Korah and Dayton. He's gonna do the same thing in the second wilderness. There's gonna be a whole bunch of multitudes of Korah and Dayton in their households, in their in their tabernacle, man. Swallow up the earth. I mean, the earth swallowed them up whole. Heard them scream and closed it right up. That's what's gonna happen in well, actually, He said he's pleading with all flesh with, with the sword and fire. So y'all starts gonna cut your damn head off. You're gonna have the elect, the hopeful elect, cut your damn head off in that day, man. Ain't gonna be no rebellion, man. You ain't gonna taste the promised land. You ain't, you're not gonna be part of New Jerusalem, right? It's gonna be a rebellion, but it's gonna be quick, fast, and deadly. Quick, hurry, fast, yeah, hurry. You're gonna take a sword and just cut his damn right? head off. Because how about Shimon literally says that he will purge off the rebels, mm -hmm. all right? It's for you. Y'all gonna be purged, man. And, and who he's going to use to purge y'all out? He can do it himself, but what's up? He's going to use his men. That's right. That's right. What he's saying in Jeremiah 51? He said, Thou art my battle axe, right. my weapons of war. That's so, right. yeah, he's going to use his men. Even though the average I can do it with a queen's sleep. Probably can do it with a blink of an eye. But, hey, you got to make examples out of you. Right. Got to make an example out of you, brother. Damn. <laughs> Go ahead. And shall desire to die, and then shall flee from them. Right. Basically, it's death, man. You can't go nowhere. You can't hide nowhere. It's death all around you. The most side going to torture you that day, man. It's going to be terrible. Because you can know your fears and everything, man. You know you don't want to be right. You can see dead bodies everywhere. Heads cut off. Children ate up. Madness, man. Right. Right. It's going to be dark and dark, gloomy on that. Dark day. You know, starving. Right. Child hungry and crying, right. snot bubbling, yeah. pestilence all over That's the place. Right. There's gonna be a lot of disease in that day. That's right. You know why? Because when you have, when you have when you don't have any food, all right, you don't have no clean water, all right. Disease. That's you right. have people dying in the streets and not getting cleaned up. Right. All right. Disease. Are right, you gonna have people ravishing people too? And they ain't gonna be able to go to the clinic and get cured of their their, uh, of their, uh, their, their, their little uh, ailments or whatever you want. Right. Uh, STI, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, uh, down there. And so it's going to be a more spread of disease, plagues. It's going to be a lot of plagues. It's going to be a lot of pestilence. That's right. It's coming. I'm going to stop it in the